Scientists discovered images from the year 1950 in which nine star-like objects flashed out within half an hour. All nine of them were in a small region of the space indicating that this was caused by some kind of a solar reflection of something artificially made. However, the problem is that these images are from the year 1950, while the first satellite Sputnik was launched in 1957. Beatrice Villaroel, an astrophysicist in the Nordic Institute of Theoretical Physics in Sweden, published a scientific paper together with her colleagues on this anomaly. The paper faced challenges during the review process due to stress among referees and a number of astronomers overlooked the fact that there were no human satellites in the 1950. Let's see what the study suggests. The study explores possible explanations for these transients, such as flaring dwarf stars, fast radio bursts, gamma ray bursts or micro-lensing events, but none of them seems to match the observed properties. The study suggests two possible scenarios. Either the plate was somehow contaminated by something that produced point sources with varying intensities or the sources were actually fast solar reflections from objects near geosynchronous orbits. The study also proposes ways to test this hypothesis by looking for similar events on other plates or images. It also demonstrates the value of using archival data to search for rare or exotic transients that might have been missed by previous surveys. The study invites further investigation and collaborating among astronomers to solve this intriguing puzzle. Nowadays, due to the large number of satellites in our sky, it's becoming increasingly challenging. Therefore, it's important to find the right approach to exclude the currently known satellites or utilize old photos such as those from the 1950s when satellites were not present in Earth's orbit. Beatrice, together with her colleague Hichem Gregori, made an artistic recreation of the objects in a 3D program to determine what shapes and materials could theoretically create the observed flashes. And here are some of the possible shapes. Now here begins my speculation. The question is, are these crafts from a previous advanced civilization or are they of extraterrestrial origin? One of the recreations reminds me of the Vimanas described in the ancient Vedic texts. Take a look at the resemblance of these shapes. On the right is the Rukma Vimana described in the old Vedic text and the Mahabharata epic. Well, this one to me looks like the UFO photographed in the Calvin area. This is the recently released photo, the case is still classified. This spherical shape could potentially represent the UAP spheres that have been observed throughout recorded human history, ranging from ancient times to the Second World War and continuing to the present day. This is an important topic for me, because I had similar sightings of these flashing, disappearing artificial objects. It looked like two stationary stars that started flaring up one after another and then began moving before they disappeared completely. If you haven't read my community and Twitter posts, please do. I'm elaborating on a theory that there were previously advanced civilizations living on Earth. There is a natural cycle that occurs over a long period of time causing mass extinctions. The aliens flying in the UFOs are the elite survivors, while we are the descendants of the fortunate few who survived. The symbols found in many UFO cases can be found in the old Paleo Sanskrit. The author of the censored book The Adam and Eve Story The History of Cataclysms has described these advanced civilizations living in Eastern Asia and Mesoamerica. 
He also mentions that the astronomers of Tioanaco, ancient ruined city in Bolivia, use telescopes like ours today, and they had a huge satellite orbiting the Earth west to east 449 times per year, which they used as a time standard. Its orbit was so accurate. The others, the watchers, are the ancients. The gatekeeping is ancient, but the question is how many different species are there and how many cataclysmic events have they escaped. Now let me know if you would like to hear more about this theory in a video, because I have provided extensive elaboration in written format, or if you prefer, I can create a video about a different topic. This one and the previous video were the most voted on in my poll, so I made them as promised. I'll leave the links with the incredible research about this case in the description below, be sure to check them out. And with this thought I'll end my video, I hope you like, share and subscribe with notifications on. Also if you can, please consider supporting me on Patreon, your support is the only way for this channel to survive. Thanks to my Patreon supporters.